Hey, I'm Josh Soholt with Public Land Meat Company, and today we're going to be taking a few mule deer quarters and we're going to be turning them into summer sausage. Today we're going to be using our made with meat equipment and kind of giving you a little bit of an education as to how to go about this process with that equipment. Alright, so we got all of the meat deboned off the front and hind of the mule deer. And uh, just kind of continuing on here, we're going to weigh this so we can get the appropriate amount of pork fat mixed in with it, and we'll keep going down the process. To weigh all my meat for processing, honestly, I just use my bathroom scale here at home. Um, and you can either just, I mean, I just set the bowl on it. Perfect, we're at 21.8 pounds. So I sort of like to use about a third uh, as far as mixing in my pork fat. A lot of people go up to half, and if you prefer that taste, uh, go for it. I just uh, have always ran somewhere between a quarter and a third mix with the fat. I just tend to like it that way, so that's what we'll do. Uh, next step here is to run it through the grinder and get it in the mixer. Well, with the grinding done, we'll uh, get this into the mixer and start getting it blended. All right, so right now I'm going to combine 10 pounds of the ground meat with three pounds of the bacon. I'm just going to do 13, 15 pound allotments in this mixer. It is kind of nice not to totally max the mixer out. It just provides a little bit better mix on the meat. You don't have to crank it quite as long. Um, so that's how we'll do it on this one. During this step, I will add, uh, you know, about for 10 pounds, about two cups of water. And that just helps the mix, helps get the seasonings to settle into the meat as well and makes mixing it a lot easier uh, on the equipment and your arm. So grab a little water, put a little of that in there. Now we're ready. All right, so obviously meat is mixed and mi uh, ground and mixed. Uh, and now we're just gonna throw the seasonings in there before we throw it into the stuffer and then get it into the casings. So that's a pretty simple process. I just kinda get my meat wad tumbling, for lack of a better description, and just kinda sprinkle my seasoning in here. Now there's a ton of, uh, ton of different options in prepackaged summer sausage kits and the easiest thing to do is just grab one of those all right so I got the main bulk of the seasoning in there kind of mixed around a little bit now I'm going to throw in the pink cure and pink cure is what actually cures the summer sausage summer sausage was initially created back when uh, to not necessitate refrigeration so it is literally able to be cured appropriately and smoked and then hung out in the canning uh, room or the cellar or whatnot and kept for a lot of months during the summer months when refrigeration wasn't possible so and then the final mix in is the encapsulated citric acid and that's kind of what gives summer sausage that summer sausage taste and we'll just give it a good mix All right, so one thing I've kind of learned through the years of doing this is before, when you do these big batch runs of sausage, no matter what it is, take a little bit, like a little patty, and uh, just test it. You know, throw it in a skillet and cook it up, see if you like it. And if you do, great, here we go. If you don't, you can then add meat, you can add more fat, 
you can actually have a little fail safe to add some balance. So we'll cook up this little patty and see how we're doing. <coughs> yep, that's gonna work. Um, good overall flavor, kind of gives you a little flavor bite right at the beginning. It has that classic citric acid kind of tang uh, towards the tail end, but smoked and cured, that is going to be fantastic. So onward. All right. So next step, we're going to use our made with meat uh, sausage press and get these water soaked casings filled up. There we go. And just slide that over the nozzle. And when you're done filling, you want enough room to be able to actually twist up the end and get one of these thrown on there. And they make tools for this. Uh, I haven't invested in a nice enough tool, so I just threw away the cheap little tool that I was using and using normal fencing pliers. And that seems to do just dandy. So there's one. Now we just got to do this about another 30 more times. Got all of these beautiful summer sausages cased up and ready for the smoker. And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna stick them in the fridge overnight and let them just kind of marinate and really soak up all of that seasoning that we put on and get them cured up. So we'll be hitting the smoker first thing in the morning with these to get them topped off. And they just, I tell you what, from tasting that tester, I just cannot wait to get into one of these things and throw it on a cracker or whatever. It's gonna be absolutely terrific. So uh, yeah, until the morning. So last night we finished uh, mixing up our summer sausage and getting it into the casings and overnight allowed it to marinate in the fridge. First thing this morning we got the smoker going and you kind of do a progressive cook with summer sausage. So I kind of started out at one hour for 150, moved it up to 170 for two hours and then finished it at 200. And you want an internal temperature on the summer sausage to be somewhere between 150 and 155. After that we pulled it and then you throw it into an ice bath immediately. And that kind of congeals all the fat back up, stops the cooking immediately, and sort of plumps up the casings again. Um, but yeah, after that, uh, now we have our finished product and something that you can throw on a cracker or a sandwich with some cheese and, and enjoy any time of the year. So we got about 30 pounds of this stuff to enjoy, and I'm going to kind of get to that about right now. But the Made With Meat equipment sure made this entire process a cinch, and the final product is certainly hard to argue with. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.